good. Got away with that. Yeah, bumped their own stone as the Quebec okay. Rock exits play. But they lie three. Lots of stuff for Quebec to roll behind here. And you really don't even technically need to remove this stone from play. You just got to get it out of that spot. Yeah, and this is a case where I think uh, people who are following curling and watching only the line scores can get a little deceived. Um, there's a potential here that the Quebec could give yep. up a big end, but yep. they've got yep. to keep rocks in play. Otherwise, otherwise they're never going to get the opportunity to score. So to your point, if she had just tapped that back, played a little less weight, yep. tapped it to the back eight foot, and it might not work out. But if she if she's tapping all the yellow rocks to the back eight foot, uh, things go right, they get some points. If things go wrong, she's just tapped a bunch of rocks to the back of the eight foot that end up counting, and that looks. Horrible on line score, but but that's what you gotta do because that's the game. Yeah, you win by one or you win by twenty. It's the same value. A win is a win. Keep pushing, keep pushing. You're gonna move it. Go, go, go. If it's an extra end, draw to the pin in glorious fashion. Well, it's the same as beating up or on on uh, another team. This idea of you know tapping the rocks back and. Keeping them in play, it's, it's a little bit like the. You know, my analogy would be like pulling the goalie. Like it's it's really dangerous because it's really easy for the other team to score. But if I don't pull a goalie, I, I don't have that extra advantage that I really need. In in, in the curling terms, the extra advantage I need are, are these these catchers in behind to, to try and help me keep my rocks in play. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, anyway, here, they'll jam that, stay on the wrong side of it, unfortunately. I think I'd like to see Quebec playing a lot less weight. Yeah. Like, even if it's hack or back line, again, like we just said, those rocks don't have to, those rocks don't have to come out of play. They just have to be positioned so that there's a better chance that the red ones will count them. Same all that great to me. I know that. <laughs> I know the mindset, though. You're looking at 11-2, and I'm like, I don't want to give up three more. I, I just don't want to. 10 great. There's a pretty famous instance, though, of a Grand Slam where Kathy King gave up an eight-ender, and, and she came off the ice, and the first question she got asked was, well, why didn't you just take one out? And, and her answer was classic. It was excellent. She said, I wasn't trying to not give up eight. I was trying to steal one. Yeah. I, I was trying to put one in a position where I could steal one. If I'd made the draw in, in the situation she was in, she said I would have stolen one. And it would have been a whole different game. But I'm not trying to not give up eight. Like, I, that's what look, that's, that's the thing that shows up on the scoreboard. But but that's not... <laughs> the scoreboard doesn't tell you what was going on. It just tells you how it ended up. Yeah. Absolutely the case. 